What up, YouTube fam? It's April G. Showers back at y'all with another reaction. So, I had uploaded a reaction to Eminem's live Oscar performance um, earlier, like way earlier. Um, but the audio was off sync, like my word my my lips would move and it would not be it was just all messed up so i had to uh do research and try to figure out myself how in the hell to fix it and i think i got it fixed y'all finally so i'm redoing this reaction um which I've already heard the song just like everybody else in the world has heard this song. And we all know and love this song. Um, Eminem's Lose Yourself. He won a Grammy for this song 18 years ago. And for the movie 8 Mile 18 years ago. Only um, hip-hop artist in history to um, have ever done that. Uh, but yeah, he, he did an unexpected surprise live performance of lose yourself at the oscars so we're going to check it out y'all april g squad fist bump love y'all let's get it okay for you millennials and gen z's which I have recently come to know that uh, the Gen Generation Z pe uh, kids are also called Zoomers. Ha! Huh. That's I think that's cute. But anyway, so to you Zoomers or Gen Zers and Millennials, this little square thing right here, or rectangle, however you prefer to uh, view it, this is called a cassette tape. Back in a uh, uh, us old folks day this is what we would listen to music on <laughs> all right here we go and i am gonna pause it quite a bit y'all so hopefully youtube won't block it ever since i learned how to pull vi videos up at the same time i'm doing my reaction youtube is just thoroughly enjoying blocking my shit so all right here we go <laughs> Look, y'all, look how handsome, look how beautiful my husband is, y'all. Ah, he's still the man we admire. He gets more handsome and flyer and has no plans to retire. Love it. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, I'm a stan. Yes, I'm proud of it. Okay. <laughs> Capture Just let it slip. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on a sweater already. Mom's spaghetti, he's nervous. But on the surface, he looks calm and ready to drop palms. But he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down. The whole crowd goes so loud, he opens his mouth. Words won't come out, he's choking how. Look at Phineas and Billie Eilish's reactions there. Which uh, Billie Eilish has been getting a lot of hate for this uh, for this face right here. <laughs> I can see why she's getting the hate for it, but at the same time, I mean, just off of a couple second shot camera shot, we we don't know what they were thinking. I mean, it looks like they're both like like Phineas looks like what the hell, and Billie Eilish looks like oh my god, this is. So so stupid is such a waste of my time. Oh my god. But I don't know if they're Eminem fans or not. So that's what it appears to be. But I don't know their thoughts. So anyway. Everybody's joking now. The clock's run now. Time's up. Oh. Snap back to react. And look at look at Adina Menzel or however the hell you say it. The let it go. Let it go. That chick. Look at her. She's like, oh my god. Like, what is this? Ugh. Are you 
kidding me right now? Seriously? <laughs> but again, she may not be thinking that. <laughs> it's just what her face looks like. <laughs> All right. People kept saying that he was losing his breath. No, he kept putting his hand over his earpiece because it's so loud, like the instruments in, in the auditorium or whatever is so loud that he's trying to, you know, keep up with the beat and make sure he's still on the beat. Just saying. And if he did lose his breath a couple times, who cares? It's Eminem, the greatest lyricist of all time, the GOAT. Hello. He won a Grammy to this song and to the movie that the song was in, which was his life story, 8 Mile. And he's 47 doing this. Quit hating on my husband. <laughs> back to this mobile home, that's when it's back to the lab again, yo. This old rap city better go capture this moment and hope it's over. Yeah, rap it with him. Love it. Everybody not bobbing their heads and rapping it with him. Love it. It's a chance to blow. It's opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You better lose yourself in the music the moment you own it. You better never let it go. go. Only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. It's opportunity. <laughs> Look come. at her. Go back. Check her out, y'all. She getting down. Watch. Go. Only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. It's opportunity. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> like it. I love it. Tennis motherfucking roof off like two dogs cage. I was playing in the beginning, the mood all changed. I've been chewed up and spit out the mood off stage. But I kept priming a step right in the next cycle. Let's believe somebody's paying the price. All the pain inside amplified by the fact that I can't get by with my nine to five. dude was falling asleep and his granddaughter or whoever that was they were just like bored <laughs> it's just not their kind of music they sip tea and, and eat crumpets and shit <laughs> Was Billy Alice sitting down or standing up there? Hold on. Okay, she's just short. <laughs> she's standing up. He got a standing ovation from everybody. Yeah, she's standing up. There she is right there. Here she is right here. Cool, man. That's awesome. Standing ovation from... I love it. Love it. He deserves it. Every bit of it. Look at him, y'all. He's just beautiful. I love you so much. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Did you see her blow a kiss at him? Watch. <laughs> I love it. 
Leonardo DiCaprio. I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh my goodness. I love him so much, y'all. I have to see him in concert before I die. I have to. And the people who say, who talk trash about him, I've, I've actually, hell, today or yesterday, technically, because it's 3.15 in the morning right now. I'm a vampire, a night owl, whatever you want to call it, insomniac, um, saying that um, Eminem's songs, almost all of them are trash uh, and negative, and he don't uh, put any positivity into any of his music, and all he raps about is violence and negativity and um, inappropriate stuff and drugs and stuff like that. And, like, y'all know, already know, I went to bat for my husband and took up for him. Because, here's the thing, look, I know not everybody's going to like Eminem's music and or Eminem. That's just common sense. Not every single person on the planet is going to like him and or his music. Duh. Um, however, he does deserve respect. Because he is due that respect. And if you've only heard a couple songs by him, you can't just make a snap judgment and say, Oh, well, I heard 97 Bonnie and Clyde or Kim or uh, Fack or Insane or something like that. Rain Man. I heard those songs so... All this music is trash, and he has nothing to offer anybody. And he's not a positive role model at all. That's just not fair. That's not fair. Not only just for Eminem, but for any artist. Any artist. We should never judge an artist and their music off of just two or three songs. I mean, come on. You know, listen to Castle and A Rose. In that order, you have to do it in order. Castle and then a rose. Castle, a rose. In that order. Okay? Hell, just those two songs alone. If that don't make you see that there's some positivity in M's music, I don't know what will. But those two. Of course, Not Afraid. Uh, Lose Yourself. The one we just heard that he won a Grammy for. Uh, Sing for the Moment is an amazing um positive song for kids um let's see like toy soldiers heartbreakingly beautiful um it's so many going through changes amazing song mockingbird amazing song when i'm gone amazing song i mean there's so many of them yes he has wild crazy inappropriate songs he has hilarious troll songs where he's just trolling and being crazy he's got uh sexual songs he's got songs about drug use yes he does hell he invented horrorcore rap hip-hop so hello i mean come on so anyway but he also has inspirational um motivational just uh, uplifting encouraging music too his music helped to save my life and i'm not exaggerating i'm being serious his music helped me in my own recovery i'm a recovering addict i've been in recovery eight and a half years will be nine years in august and had it not been for M M's music and him being brave enough to open himself up and tell his story, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and the positive, and the inappropriate, I don't know that I would be sitting here today talking to y'all. That's how much of an impact Eminem and his music has had on me and my life. I'm just saying. And a lot of people feel that way. And there's a reason why... Um, us 
huge Eminem fans or stands, we ride so hard for him and we're so loyal, ride or die fans, and we're so gung ho about him because you just have you need to do a lot of research and listen to a lot more songs than just a couple before you just make a snap judgment that and to to even put the word trash in the same sentence as Eminem to me is just a sin like what no no you don't have to like his music you don't have to like him but he is still the greatest lyricist of all time no one has the wordplay that he has the metaphors double triple quadruple entendres similes i mean you name it nobody nobody period he is the goat he is the greatest rapper of all time in my opinion tupac is right there with him um but i think he is definitely the greatest lyricist of all time and i honestly don't think that can be disputed i just don't he's broke many records anyway i know i've been sitting here talking about eminem for probably i don't know how many minutes because the time's not showing up for me like it does when i don't have the video <laughs> pulled up so anyway i apologize y'all not really because i mean it's my husband it's kind of my job to take up for him <laughs> anyway but yeah just saying he deserves respect. Him and Jay-Z and 2 Chains and Tech 9 and so many others, Lil Wayne, also deserve respect just for the simple fact of longevity. You know, longevity. They've been doing this over two decades. I mean, come on. Come on. And they have not fell off. <laughs> I mean, <sighs> anyway, Eminem's the GOAT. Y'all, comment below. Anything y'all want to see me react to, please like this video on your way out. A lot more important than you think. Please subscribe to my channel, y'all. April G Squad. Fist bump. Love y'all. And I will see y'all in just a little bit. Peace out.